I'm Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. It's day one of Animate. How are you guys? Will you consent to be on video? I right. consent All right. to be on uh, Lisa Correa is here. Milo Beasley is here. We're, uh, we're having a great time. She's having a better time than I've ever had at a show. This is going to be a great show. I'm very excited about today. I'm going up. I got to talk about chickens in pop culture and... Oh my god, guy! What? Chicken is like a theme for me today. I released my Lisa Loves Food on YouTube. Roasted chicken. Link in the description. Go on. <laughs> no, my butter roasted I'll put chicken. It, I'll put the link in the description. With lemon pepper seasoning, guy. That's the video I released okay, so, today. All right. And so yeah. this is tomorrow. So it was released yesterday. So people can check that out. And this morning, and new. I ate chicken and waffles. Yes, you did. Which should be on this video. See? No, that's yesterday. Yes, yesterday. So know. people will see that yesterday. This is tomorrow. <laughs> this is, well, anyway, <laughs> this will be at some other point, at a different point in time. It's within 24 hours. So yeah, because that happened today, but that's a different video. Because people don't, people that are watching this want to see the convention. But so they don't want to see us eat chicken. time traveler, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and otherwise, the video today already was like over, um, it would be over an hour. We'd have too oh, much. No too and much. over a million. That's right. That's right. And That's because you just filmed me oh, yeah. eating chicken. I did. He oh, ate really? the whole chicken. Oh, nice. It was oh. good. <laughs> but I got two panels. I'm going up to do those. I'm going to show everybody Colonel the floor. Sanders? Look at all. No, Colonel Sanders is on Sunday. <laughs> That's it's a Sunday event. Uh, but regular oh. chicken today. We've got a lot of stuff to see. It's the floor looks great. The convention center is beautiful. Yeah. I'm super excited I love about their this. Signs. I like the signs. I like what you do on yours where you say who you are. I think that's like, very smart. Who are you? So I put up some yeah. post notes. I'm a stand-up comedian. Hello. I, I often get people, I've had more than one person that has shook hands with me and go, so glad you created Sesame Street. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so you want to buy a book? Say you're welcome. And then... All right, I'm going over there. Okay. Anyway, Look at that. Jessica Disney and Milo Beasley. And Milo Beasley. All right, here we go. Let's move on to the next question. This is you. I know. Okay. What was the first Pokemon programmed into the game. You guys, what was the first second. Pokemon programmed into the game? Four, three, two, one. All right, reveal your answers to us. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Okay. Uh, crowd, you guys have any guesses? All right, reveal your answers to the crowd, and the answer we're looking for is Rhydon. Oh. All right, so we got one point. Sierra gets a point. Bye, yeah. guys. Sierra gets one point. Bye. Have Bye, Starlight. Day. See you later. All right, so we got one point. We're still moving right along to the next question. Still plenty of chances to get in the game, so good luck. Okay, connect. You're reading this one. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ho, -ho Alamomola, and Jirafarig. What do these Pokemon have in common? Ho, -ho Alamomola, and Jirafarig. What do these Pokemon have in common? <laughs> All right, one more time. Ho, ho, Alamomola, and Garifurig. What do these Pokemon have in common? Let's see your answers. All right, all right, all right. See, this one's hard. This is a difficult one. This Anyone in the audience? Their names, their names are palindromes. Once again, the correct answer. That is correct. They are palindromes. They can be spelled backwards and forwards. So I'll be doing and these panels here. Show you a little bit of them. Be a lot of fun here in the panel room. Are you guys local? Yeah. Oh, well, I have Iowa. from Iowa. All right, so I have a lot of questions for people from Iowa. So I'm glad you're here. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Uh, so where can I get a, a? Do you guys know what a maid right is? Like a or a loose meat sandwich? What do they call it here? What's the more common name? And are they popular here? Because I feel like half the people I talk to that are here are like, eh, eh well, I don't know what that is. I think it's about half and half. A lot of people, like I've, I've told people, and they're like, oh, well, you can get a hamburger at Zombie Burger. And I'm like, that's not a, that's, that thing's not a hamburger. Now, I have never had one, but like I talked to somebody that was from here. They wasn't from here, but had spent some time here. You've spent time here. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, this is Milo Beasley, professional wrestler. He's been on AEW television. Yes. Half of the tag team bums are us. This, I'm, this isn't a joke. He's a, he's a pro wrestler. He's wrestled all around the world, uh, and he hosts a lot of stuff here. And uh, you've been here before. Had you heard about them? I'm not sure how we got on a jag where we thought they were here. No, I, I, I 
but I think it was like a list of like the five things you got to eat in, in Iowa. And here's what I was told to eat. Breakfast pizza at Casey's General Store. All right, so is there, do you guys know if there's one of those near here? Casey's is everywhere. Yeah. All right. So I got it. And, and now I've been told that the regular pizza is really good. I've been told the breakfast pizza is better. Does that sound correct? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm excited about this. Is this what we're hitting? Oh, they got a thin this crust. This This might be what we have to do. All right. So I heard about that. I heard about, uh, I had the pork loin this morning. I had it over at, uh, where were we? Blasted Billy, Buckaroo Blasted. Billy. Blasted Billy. Buster Billy? Buzzard. Buzzard, Buzzard Billy. Yeah. We have Buzzard Billies. Have you guys been there? We just went there today. It's great. <laughs> it's awesome. They have, what I like is at the front, at the, like the front table where they have the mints. They have, like in the old days, you remember they used to just put the mints, they were just unwrapped. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember this, but at restaurants, they used to just put a bowl and unwrapped mints and you'd put your hand in and you'd just grab them. And then one day they're like, we'll put a spoon. And then we all used the same spoon <laughs> to grab the mint. And you know there's some guy that was like, oh, there's a spoon, and they put it right back in. Um, so they had individually wrapped mints, and they put them in the mouth of like a big alligator, like an alligator head. Now, when I went to Florida many years ago, they had little alligator heads, and they're like 15 bucks, or at least they were. With inflation, they're probably 20 now. But they had little ones. I bought the little one, and uh, I was so worried about it breaking like in my uh, suitcase, and it didn't. I got it home, and then... I remember my, my father-in-law went there on a business trip and he's like, I got something for you. And I said, what? He goes, I'll give it to you at your house. So he came over and he goes, and he sees that my little alligator head and he puts right next to this, this giant alligator head. And for the longest time, I was like, I got the biggest alligator head till I went over there to, what was it called? Buckaroo Billies? Yes, exactly. Buzzard Billies. <laughs> buzzard. <laughs> buzzard Billies. They have a buzzard on their logo. Is it Buzzard Billy or Billies? Is it plural? Are there more than one? Or is it implying that it is his Billy's restaurant? Is it like it's Billy's restaurant. But I don't think that buzzard really owns it. <laughs> and so they have this giant alligator head. They have it right on the counter. And it's got a chain wrapped around it. Because so somebody has tried to steal it at some point. <laughs> which I love. But I got the pork loin. I did not get the stupid hamburger bun on it. They, I see a lot of places. Do you like the hamburger bun? Yeah. So that's a, that's a part of the experience. So you think maybe I got to do this again. Because <laughs> that's the thing. It's like a, a piece of pork loin this big with a little tiny hamburger bun. That's the joke. <laughs> and is the bottom of the bun under there? Oh, yeah. And are you supposed to pick it up? <laughs> do you cut it in half? Yeah, cut it in half. Yeah. All right. You've been very helpful. <laughs> I missed out on the one thing I wanted to see was the Better Homes and Garden Garden which I kept looking at the clock and I was like, we're gonna miss it. It was too far away though. It's, it's, not, it's not far at all. It's like a 20 minute walk, but it's only open for two hours. And so it's only open two hours a week. You've never been? Yeah. Nobody's been. We could have all gone. No, we can't go, it's closed. <laughs> it went from, we can just climb over the fence. <laughs> uh, but no, they're only open from noon to two. I think they said that they had something for like special groups, but they're like, look, don't mess around. We got to live. We're better homes and garden. This is our private garden. We've got, it's like coming into their home, you know, their better home. Uh, but yeah, so, okay. So what other food should I try? What is, what is another? Cause like, isn't Iowa known for corn? <laughs> is there a special corn dish that uh, Iowa is known for? All right. Well, I'm from Jersey. Now, Jersey's known for corn on the cop. We've got Jersey corn. We're known for corn. What's that? Firecracker. Whoa. Firecracker corn is what? Is this on the stick? No. All right. All right. And I, is that something I can get at like a lot of different restaurants or are there special places I'd want to go? I think you could buy at the store. All right. Well, I'm not going to the, I'm not going to like at Hy-Vee. Yeah, I'm not going there. All right, well, welcome to the panel where I just asked for food advice. Uh, my name is Guy Hutchinson. I am the author of a handful of theme park books. I got a table downstairs. Um, I also do a YouTube channel called Pointless Nostalgia where I put up a video every day. Look, it's me on it right now, but probably cut out. But I'll probably put all the stuff where I'm talking to you guys about food because that's what the people at home really want to see. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about Hanna-Barbera theme parks. 
different theme park attractions that Hanna-Barbera has done over the years. There was very specifically a Hanna-Barbera land. Uh, has anybody ever been there? Good, because I'm going to get a lot of stuff wrong and you won't even know. You can, uh, you know, pitch a tent. You just pay for the spot. And they have like a Yogi Bear statue. And they have like a little carousel type ride that you can ride on. They'll usually have a little water park, like a mini water park area. Uh, they'll have statues of Yogi Bear. And they'll have like a restaurant, you know, like a Yogi Bear themed restaurant, as well as, which is my favorite thing, a Yogi Bear gift shop. Because there's nothing like going in a store where everything has Yogi Bear's face on it. Uh, but I went, I did a show called uh, Galaxy Con Raleigh a few months ago. And as I was driving, I was looking, I was gonna drive down there and I talked to a friend of mine and he goes, well, you know, they have the Yogi Bear Honey Fried Chicken Restaurant in South Carolina. And I was like, I know, I've heard all about the Yogi Bear Honey Fried Chicken Restaurant. I've always wanted to go. I was like, but it's almost, it's almost an hour, it's almost two hours, like an hour and 40 minutes from my hotel in North Carolina. I was like, that's, and so that's round trip. That's over three hours. He goes, but what if the health department shuts them down before you get a chance to go again? And I was like, oh man, what if they do? There's fur in the honey or something. They're gonna, there's no, I mean, how has this place lasted? And again, this place, it was, it's a fried chicken restaurant. It's still there. I just went a couple months ago. It was great. It was very popular. It had been uh, a chain. So it started at Myrtle Beach and they built a bunch of them and they were left with just one, one Yogi Bear honey fried chicken. And so in 2002, they went to renew the license agreement and they were like, look, we're down to one. We're not, we're not planning on keeping this thing around. And the owner sweet talked the uh, Hanna-Barbera people, which I think is now Time Warner, into letting him have it. And so they said, you can never build another one. You can't do it. You know, we're very specific about what you can serve, but yeah, and you can serve, uh, you can change the menu up a little bit to fit, uh, you know, what the local people want, which includes, by the way, deep fried corn, which I don't know if you guys have had deep fried corn here in Iowa. I feel like you should. It's good, deep fried corn. So I went over there. So I drove, I drove, I, I got up. I remember I was like, I'm going to try to go. I, got, I was like, I got to go to this show. I got, I got busy stuff to do. I was like, but I'm going to try to leave a little early and go. Take care, guys. Thank you for stopping in. I was like, I'm going to try to leave a little early so that I could go drive the extra hour and 40 minutes, eat some fried chicken, and then turn around and come back. I was like, I'm going to try it. And I went to bed. And then at 2 a.m., I opened my eyes and looked at the clock, and I was like, well, if I leave now, there's no question that I'm getting some honey fried chicken for lunch. So I left and I got there. I got there like right at noon. So that was a lot of driving. That's a long, uh, I stopped at some, there was a Bucky's. You guys have Bucky's? Oh man. You know what Bucky's is? I didn't know Bucky's. Bucky's is, it's a chain of, um, I think he's a chip. What is Bucky? Is he a chipmunk? A beaver. A beaver. Thank you. You've, so you've been, or are you just familiar with it? Whoa. <laughs> I hear, now I went once too, but I don't feel like once was enough. <laughs> like, I feel like I could go again every day. If you guys had said, oh yeah, there's one down the street, I'd be like, well guys, it was nice talking to you all. I'm like, on my way over to Bucky's. Um, it's weird. Like, just picture like a Walmart if everything had the same cartoon beaver on it. Like everything. Like, and like you walk down an aisle and it's like uh, pickles and they're like, Spicy pickles, regular pickles, pickles made out of other things, pickles that taste like ranch or whatever. All every type of pickle you could imagine, and they all got that beaver on the. He's just on the logo. They like they make everything themselves. Pool noodles, you know, flip flops, hats, whatever you need. In pop culture, than any other species, but none of them rose to the top. Like. Dogs, there's a lot of very famous dogs, a lot of fame, but there were a lot of like chickens seem to always be in every cartoon, but they're like in the back somewhere. Now there are some leading chickens. There are some chickens that have been stars. Um, a more recent one, which I feel like uh, is still before your time is Chicken Little. Uh, Disney put out a Chicken Little movie a few years ago. There's some artwork here in the convention center, the registration area. This convention center is utilizing two floors. Same uh, mascots as GalaxyCon. You got Galaxy Girl and the robot. 
welcoming you. This is the Hy-Vee Hall. It's named after a grocery store chain here. And they got lots of different stuff. You can see there's uh, the hours here for the grill and the full bar, the rolled ice cream. I don't even know what that is. Not a big ice cream guy, but if it's something new, I should check it out. Ah, some people in cosplay over here. Very cool. I love all the cosplay that's always here. I don't even know what some of it is, but it's cool to see. There's the rolled ice cream. They've got a red carpet. Look at this. It's a red carpet for the totally rolled ice cream. And here's a picture of what it looks like. It looks wild. Maybe I'll have to try that. So let's take a look. They've got all the tables over here. My table is on the row down here for Joe, Joe Wasses or Joe Voss. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I know Joe. Joe is the brand ambassador for Charlie the Tuna for Starkist. And there's my, my table over there. Dana's is next to it. Lisa's uh, on the other side. Wow, look at, wait, all right. <laughs> you got Charlie. Fleisch? What is what is this with the globe here? This is uh, Wicked Ways or uh, Company Does Dice, uh, Star Kiss, King Features Syndicate, which handles Popeye. Popeye and everything. Yeah. So, how, what work like do you TV do with show. them? What work do you do with King Features? Uh, I have uh, Maze Tunes, which appears in newspapers. Cartoon Illustrated Mazes. Get out. So featured uh, every day. Cartoon Art Museum, San Francisco. Mystery Covers Bookshop, which is my local bookstore, National Cartoonist Society. I see the peanut stuff. I know you do the stuff yeah, for the Charles a, Schultz a peanuts, Museum. I did a, a peanuts book. Wow, that is, is my so book, great. Um, National Park Center. Let me see the back. Yeah, there you go. That is awesome. Oh, oh man. It's the floor. If you come here to Des Moines and you want to check this out, you can get your anime gear. They have some cool anime hats and all kinds of different shirts and other things. But also, they have this whole shopping area and whatever you're into they always have it here and i like like look at all the different stuff you get D, D style dice you can get like paintings look at these beautiful paintings that people make and people make all these different type of things some of it are homemade style things other things are mass produced things but just a little bit of everything anything that you're into you could probably find it here look at this a neon mario hat and I always say that this is like the most fun area to look at, to walk around and see all the different things here. Now they have up here the family zone and the family zone, they always have different events. I'm gonna just show you what's going on. I won't uh, show you too much if there's a lot of kids in there. Okay, look, it looks good right now. It's a little empty. They've got some board games here, but let me show you what they have here on the schedule of events. You can see they have all different games, like like the temporary tattoo shop and different workshops, and they're all just laid out for the kids. And so if you bring your kids, your kids can come over here. They can have a good time. Uh, they do have to be accompanied by an adult at all times at the booth, but it's great. And especially you bring the little ones, you know, you want to go around, see all the fun stuff here. It's nice to have a place with books, coloring books, and other things for them to look at while you're, you know, enjoying the day. This is a place for them to come and unwind for a little bit. Maybe you've you got mom and dad there. One of the parents brings the kids over here and the other parent checks everything out. Now look at these swords. These are sharp metal ones. I bought one of these before for my son. These are made out of like a bamboo, like a wood. And they're really great. If you come by, check them out. They're worth uh, picking up because it's, it's a fun thing. I mean, look, every kid wants to have a sword. So... They're real wonderful. And then look at all this other stuff, leather goods, uh, different kinds of artwork, different kinds of posters. Just a little bit of everything. And you can find it all here at Animate in Des Moines. So if you're in the area, please stop by. Dana is next to my table. If you saw the video I put up yesterday, he was on uh, the, the local like morning show. And we went over there to the studio. It was a lot of fun. So you can go over and meet him. He's uh, one of the many names here. Lots of different people at all the different booths around here like all your favorite cartoons a lot of the voices are here and you get to see the faces behind the voices and it's certainly a lot this of fun. is the program for the show i like the uh i 
like the Japanese writing up here. I believe that's what that is. And if it's some other language, it's a language I don't know. And they've got all the different information in here, which is always great. Everything, yes, sir. So they have the code of conduct. There's a lot of policies, especially if you're doing cosplay. There are some rules, particularly about props that could be weapons. So that's a lot of that. Look at some of the guests here. So if you recognize on this side, they'll always put the cartoons they're most famous for. And on the other side, you see the actor's photo and you'll see their name. That's great. If you're a fan of a lot of shows, I know I never know the face behind them. And it's kind of neat to meet those people. And also uh, see all the different entertainment people that are here. You've probably seen some of them already today. And here, there's Milo and all the professional cosplayers that are in here. These are all the, they do have like over 18 nighttime stuff that you can see here. Lots of cool stuff. Obviously, you get your, you know, layout, all that stuff. Then, get all the panels. We saw a little bit of that earlier. Got all the panels listed in here. You can uh, keep yourself entertained. I always think the reason that the panels are great is you come out here, you see some of your favorite stars. Hey, go into a panel room, watch a panel for a half hour, an hour, recharge yourself, and you get out there. Maybe your feet started to hurt. Especially you got little ones, go to a panel that's appropriate for the little ones, rest those feet and then start walking around on this big concrete floor at the convention center. They have a rave tonight and just a lot of stuff, just tons of stuff going on. Uh, they do cosplay meetups. So hopefully maybe we can get a chance to go over and see one of the cosplay meetups. That would be a lot of fun. And these are the upcoming shows I will be at each of these shows at the bottom of the screen here. So if you're in any of these areas, you're in Richmond, Raleigh, Columbus, Des Moines, I'll be coming to your town. Can't wait to see you guys. This is the video gaming area. They have this set up where you can play all kinds of different video games. They have all the brand new systems you can play and there's plenty of them set up. Uh, this one's set up here with whatever Xbox One, I think this is, but the newer Xbox. And they have a game I've been dying to play the power wash simulator i'm only gonna have one hand so i'm not gonna be doing it well but i wanted to check this out how do we wake up the controller is there a switch so here it is got the controller up and running all right it's loading the dirt right now all right so let's see if i do yeah there we go all right let's power wash let's power wash this old shit oh look at that all right, so I'm gonna go up and down. I gotta say, I have a power washer at home. This is much more fun. Now I wonder if like, if I just can go find like somebody's, like this dog over here, can I power wash the dog? Let's see if he's, if he's home an open world I think I think I could just go around power wash everything let's see what if I just power wash the window be clean now let's see what the force oh look at that look at that uh, I'm gonna clean this this is cool It's pretty awesome. It's gonna go well for anybody. They're like, no, nah, dude, seriously, like, something goes down, what are you gonna do? I'm like, well, my non existent back to the wall, I uh, will start crying, I promise. <laughs> do that. I, uh, my nerd thing, I'm a big fan of professional wrestling. I love professional wrestling. Uh, one of my favorite professional wrestlers of all time is a guy named Ric Flair. Ooh. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Ric Flair's catchphrase is woo. Which happens to be the same catchphrase as cocaine. <laughs> That's what I look for in my professional wrestlers. Ric Flair, yeah. Hey, show me that wave one more time. Show me that wave. Let's pass the energy all the way through. We're going to start right over here. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Pass it down. Hey, let's go. If you see a line coming by, you got to jump on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we got to come through. Let's 
circle one more time. Let's go. Circle. Circle. There we go. There we go. Did we pick up any people? We got some people. We got some people. Here we go. Everybody get close. Get close. Get close. One hand in the sky like this. Taco, this is 4th Street, which is that the street we're on, or is that? Yes. Makes sense. I mean, who really knows? Yeah, that's cool. Great. Lots of different stuff on them. And we, got, we got two more coming. Oh, really? We're, so we got to wait for the others to come out? Okay, this one's what mac and thank cheese you. thank you and this one's ramen ramen noodle that one this one looks the most exciting to me this looks really good too these all look great say goodbye to you but i'll see you back here tomorrow at two o'clock coming up day two and then day three so i hope you tune in for that right now there's gonna be a box right here one over here you can choose either one like that yeah, yeah, that one and i'll see you next time yeah it's a great place you should be here come on back pick one <laughs>